Hey guys, it's me, Charlie, and this is the first part of my one-shot. In this, we're gonna be using a new system called City of Mist, where the boys are gonna be rolling 2d6s and adding their relevant tags. It's a little bit faster and looser, but still pretty easy to understand. I'm very excited to present this setting to you guys, and without further ado, let's just roll with it. How's everyone? Is everyone good? Is everyone good for this? I'm feeling good. Yes, dude. Okay, okay. Dude, okay. dude, I just cried on command. I'm. I've never been more ready. Hey yo! Hey yo! Hey yo! Hey -yo! What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode where we are just gonna be rolling with it. Uh, another one shot, actually, and this one is gonna be DM'd by yours truly. Very Me. excited to. All right, you guys ready for some DM? Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. And we're Roll pretty hard on this. And you're but in yeah. a well. I guess that's and fine. There's a dog 100 barking stone at you. wolves. I, I mean, I got 100 all my notes. stone wolves are barking at you. Okay. And guys. you're in a well. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Guys. I lost, I lost my opportunity for this, man. Who do I uh, see? The, the, there is no escape. You died. Okay. Um, Grizzly, you play Big G. The rock goes, goes to stand up next to you. Are you bigger than him? Roll to be bigger. Why don't I? Why do I have to roll for this? It's, isn't roll, it like an automatic success for me? Roll to be bigger. Listen, this is a challenge. This is the greatest roll, challenge roll you'll for, ever face. Roll for size. Roll for size. Roll for bigness. All right, I'll roll a D one because I'm the only one. Okay. That's bigger. I rolled a natural <laughs> yeah. twenty minute Liam. On a Z. All right, the rock is small. He is a pebble. He is feeble. He is so. He is so tiny. You step on him. You All right, step first on of the all, rock. D one can't exist. <laughs> <laughs> second of all pretty high number um but yeah no i i i'm here i'm gonna be doing this this one shot uh and charlie i'm looking forward to your session man i really am because we're not playing D D. we're we're, we're stepping away <laughs> yeah, we're charlie, oh we yeah we should we should actually address that shouldn't we uh, yeah you should, be segueing you should. into addressing yeah. it this is yeah. <laughs> this is not D D, as you may be familiar with uh, we're not even going to be using any D20s. This is a Powered by the Apocalypse system called City of Mist. And so everyone here, when they roll, is going to be rolling two D6s and adding all their relevant stuff. So this game's a lot faster, a lot looser, um, and probably pretty easy to understand if you're listening along. But then again, never run it before, so I could be terribly wrong. I think it'll be good. <laughs> Yo, I fucking Wait, love that, that thing so much. <laughs> Commence the D&D! &D. Yeah, no, I mean, do one, one higher. Missed. One higher, and then we're good. One higher, and then we're in. That's no, lower. That's, that's that lower. It won't go high. It won't... Hold on, ready? Pick me up, yep. <laughs> ah! Okay, <laughs> we're getting into it, we're getting into it, we're getting into it. We're here! I'm gonna need that to stop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the world was once full of magic and wonder. Breathtaking dreamlike landscapes rolled across the land and mystical creatures soared through the sky. Blazing their way through this primal world of gods and monsters, there were heroes. The chosen few that could lead the way, cut through the darkness and give their people hope. But as time passed, Humanity did learn to tame this untamable earth. Slowly but surely, heroes became legends, and legends became only myth. Civilizations discovered science, industry, technology, and the past eroded under the rushing current of the future. We built and forgot. It's a sunny Saturday afternoon in Sigil City. 
Thin white clouds are stretched like cotton across the sky, split only by the dawn spires, a union of interconnected, elegant golden skyscrapers that twirl upwards towards the heavens. The sun beats down on the streets of the city, which are overflowing with thousands of people, all pushing against the tide of the foot traffic. We see a woman in the crowd reach towards her purse, and her phone gently float out into her hand as she takes a call. We see a delivery biker pass by, towering bronze buildings and archways, as well as some glowing runes on a decrepit wall before cycling up a hill past a rounded skyscraper of steel and glass parting a group of pigeons. The sounds of construction, car horns, and musics thrum together into a symphony that reverberates through the streets into the deeper layers of this megalopolis. We follow this sound through traffic, weaving around citizens past the storefronts and into a tucked away gray cobblestone alleyway. We move through a gap in the loose stones, and as the sounds of the city become muddier and fade away, we see in the darkness a sickly green light, faintly illuminating the inside of an ancient tomb. And then a hand reaches out and grabs the light, plunging the room into darkness. I'm on an emotional roller coaster right now. <laughs> you just you took me on a trip. <laughs> Just now. Suddenly, the lights flash on and all that can be heard is the sound of manic cheering. We pan around a large indoor stadium filled to the brim with people. In the center, we see a playing field of multiple suspended platforms above a massive trampoline with hoops on either side. On one of these sides, red banners hang with a depiction of a rat wrapped around a ball and text that reads, <laughs> will rise wild rats. On the other side, there hang purple banners displaying a griffin holding a ball with its left talons and a dead rat in its right. The text on this <laughs> banner reads, Gilmore Griffins. This is the floatball stadium at Will Rise University. Football! And today is the big game. Our characters are here as well. Can everyone please introduce where you are, what Wild you're doing? Rats. Okay. Um... All right, we'll go down the list, starting with, uh, with Bisley if you want. I will uh, yeah, off. Ryan is gonna go last, so Condi's gonna go last here. Okay, then then go ahead. So my character is gonna be in and towards the front of this stadium at the concession stand, you know, uh, giving out uh, different like hot dogs, whatever, whatever food people are looking for, drinks, stuff like that. Uh, he's wearing a, a yellow T-shirt with a logo on it uh, for the up and coming tech company called Bofa. Uh, it's it's a great company. I uh, definitely should invest real up and coming. I hope He's got you get an internship, bro. On. I hope you get an internship. <laughs> I'm really praying on that Bofa internship. He's got some cargo <laughs> shorts, white socks with a with some beat up Air Forces, and some uh, <laughs> and some and just dark brown unkept hair. Pretty pretty generic looking dude. A little little nerdy, but uh, not not too tall. Maybe like five eight. Um, and he's just in the uh, in the concession stand tending to customers mm -hmm. all right great yeah um are you do you think you're you're standing there are you kind of moving around the crowd just seeing uh, who wants a dog i'd be moving around probably just going around hey would you, you know would you like a hot dog like holding them out yeah yeah uh and and of course people are taking them a lot of people are hungry at this event you're racking in the cash um you get a couple comments on the shirt oh my gosh is that bofa yeah it's bofa both a di and then it cuts. And then it cuts. <laughs> I was really was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. Um, as you're walking down these dogs, uh, down sort of the, the stairs of this stadium, we pan over and see Grizzly's character, who I believe is doing something in the in the in the crowds in this stadium. What is who is she? What's she doing? Alright, yeah, yeah. Uh, your character do, do we introduce our names first as well? Do yes, you do that, that now? Be, uh, oh, okay. It's up to you. It's up to you. So my character's name is Connor, then. All right. Okay. All right. So uh, as Connor is walking back up the steps, you probably see my character, whose name is Aster, at the very front row, kind of pressed up against the, the railing. If there is railing, basically the very bottom front row of the bleachers here. Aster is a shorter than average height girl. Uh, her, her petite face and sharp features are framed by wavy brunette hair that tumbles over her shoulders and past her waist. 
She has bangs that cover a small red birthmark that takes the shape of a circle coming to a point on the bottom, stopping just above her brow line. Uh, she's wearing a baggy, oversized, dark green sweatshirt of thick fabric and has a white wolf head design in the center and, and white stripes around the elbows of the sleeves. This top falls over a black skirt, which is covering her black sheer like leather, uh, sorry, her black sheer tights, that's what they're called. And <laughs> she's wearing black leather ankle boots with these like scrunched down, I believe they're called slouch socks that match the color of her sweater. Uh, looks incredibly comfortable and warm. And on her head, she's wearing a, uh, a white gardener's harvest hat with a green band. And she has these uh, matching uh, dangling garnet gemstone earrings. And this hat is because she's currently holding it back <clears throat> as she's leaning over the railing and going, Come on! I've seen toddlers play flow ball better than this, wild rats! <laughs> yeah, and, and you're, you're, packed up, you're packed up against this railing uh, next to a few other wild rats as well that are just fucking screaming, like, decked out in, in, in red and gold, the, color of, the colors of Will Rise. They've got the red paint uh, going on. A couple of them have the big foam fingers. Yeah, she basically, she's holding it back as she's leaning forward and shouting the stuff, and then she uh, realizes she's getting a little bit too into it and just kind of um, uh, ushers back b behind these guys who are, who are next to her at the front. Yeah, you're, you're packed and tight there, and as you're, as you're looking out, as you're looking out into this, <laughs> uh, into this arena, we see Condi's character positioned hey, there, huddled in the group. The scoreboard right now is zero to Gilmore Griffins. Connie, can you describe your character? Oh, ready. Okay, so this you, see, you see a tall, a tall, very buff, sexy muscles man in a huddle. His blonde hair, short blonde hair spiked up, very chiseled face. He's pumped, there's sweat dripping down his brow. He's been working so hard. He's he's in a nickelback position in, in, in float ball. He's going for it. He has a, a jersey. Yeah, he's the nickelback position. I guess that's canon now. <laughs> sure is i'm making it um he has a jersey going down it's custom though it's not just a regular jersey he doesn't have an undershirt on it's one of those jerseys he he cut it down the side of his oh, chest God. so that it goes all the way down like that and on the back you see his number you see a big one and next to it really poorly painted over is, is a zero in the team colors of red and gold um and he has a similar colored just gym shorts and he's got uh this world's version of the jordans on the kevin's He's got some Kevins on. The Kevins? Yeah, he's got some That's Kevins the on. Jays are going, you got the K's right, on, bro? Wait, I just, I just had normal bro. Air Forces. What, should I not have that normal Air Forces? No, no. This Michael Jordan doesn't exist here. Maybe maybe I just had ground patrols on. <laughs> you got a grounds on? Yeah, you got, you got no, ground patrols now. I got, I got them ground force twos. <laughs> ground force ground three. Patrols. <laughs> oh, God. Um... And Cody, what's your character's name, did you say? And my character's name is Ryan. Yep. Ryan, you are huddled in here tight with the rest of your <sighs> wild rat team. You can tell they're kind of looking down. They don't know if today, if this year is going to be the year. <sighs> Guys, come on. We can do this. Every year they shit stomp us, not this year. We're going to yeah. show those, what are, what are they, eagles, griffins? I forget what the that's griffins. called. Griffins, we're gonna show those Griffins that the rats can fly too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they yeah! fucking like they're gonna like they hoist you up, uh, and and you see the person hoisting you as well is Jason, the leader of the J Crew. Oh god, uh, and he J holds crew. you up and he says, "That's that's our number one, that's our giant," and everyone fucking cheers. <laughs> And then you see across the field as you well. Just call me giant. <laughs> giant. Part of the J crew. Part of the J crew. Across, across the field as well as the Griffin huddle breaks. Uh, you see. <laughs> you see, motherfucking Gary Gilmore, looking at you. He's got this sort of well kept. Uh, face not even like a, a bit of sweat on it through this game he's got his purple sort of sports uniform this purple and white uh his glasses um and he's a bitch and he he makes these sort of two fingers at his eyes and then makes them at you and sort of like does a little hand motion to his team as they fan out <laughs> i do the same back to him except instead of like pointing at him I'm like <laughs> like do a punch <laughs> yeah yeah dirty, um, this is dirty play out here <laughs> 
All right. Here's what's here's what's gonna happen, Ryan. Yeah. As the referee walks up onto this middle floating platform and, and takes out the ball and throws it up. And as yeah. Gary crouches down, what do you do? Oh, I'm already in the air, Charlie. You're jumping? I'm already in the air. I'm jumping for that ball. Okay, this is the perfect opportunity to introduce how rolling works in City of Mist. What move yeah, so are you taking here? This would be a go toe to toe, right? When you use your abilities to overcome someone or something in a struggle for control. Yes, you're so, trying to overcome Gary Gilmore in reaching yes. the ball first. Okay. Yes, I'm gonna be doing that. So I will be using my skills, my powers, Charlie, you could call them. What will you of, be using? Super, no, it's super, anyway, it's mess, would muscles work? You think muscles? Yeah. I mean, this is a, you, hey, you gotta get air. I'd say muscles works. Yeah, muscles, super strength. You think that works? I'm thinking, here's what I'm uh, thinking, if you're, okay? If you're using it, Condi, if you describe yourself using it, then you can apply it, yes. Okay, so yeah, super strength, super sexy muscles. You know, I'm jumping as high as I can, as fast as I can. Both of those seem to apply very easily. I'd also like to use my hand-to-hand -hand power in, in my training because I have a lot of skill with my hands, you know, accuracy and stuff. Uh, are you going like... to punch him on the way up? <laughs> um, I'm gonna if make him try- If you hit someone, I'll let you use it. <laughs> Is that illegal in Hoverball? You tell me, isn't Flip it? Up? No, it's a very hands-on <laughs> All right, then All you can use ball. it it's in like, hand it's combat. Like hockey. <laughs> then, yeah, then I'm gonna swing. I'm gonna take a swing at fucking Gary. <laughs> All right. <laughs> fucking Gary. So I'm gonna roll my two d sixes. Get your fucking head in that the is game, Ryan. Seven plus three. Seven, seven plus, plus three, three. Yep. is a ten. Is a ten. Um, mm -hmm. As as Gary leaps towards the ball as well. Uh, you you see him look you in the eyes and <laughs> and say, "Oh yeah, my dad's gonna hear about this. How I beat these rats into the ground again!" And he jumps for it. <laughs> my dad what do you won't. Do? I kick him in the chest. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you you use a springboard. <laughs> you succeed on this go toe to toe roll. Um, what do you what do you do? You you can choose two. You can achieve okay, so... your goal. You can get them good or you can block, dodge, and counter their best attempts. What do you choose? Um, okay, so I guess I will achieve my goal, which is get the ball in my hand. Okay. And I'm going to get them good. So I'm gonna actually, uh, I'm gonna give them, I'm gonna give them lung problems. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. As you go for the ball with one hand, you use the other and punch Gary in the solar plexus. And he just goes like spinning off the field. My dad's gonna hear about me. And he he just has breathing goes. issues now. He just goes spiraling off and, and the crowd fucking erupts into cheer. Awesome. What are the, what are you guys doing? The other two of you watching the game well, right now, handing out these well, dogs. Well, the other, or while the team is doing well and the crowd is going crazy, uh, I like to imagine that, you know, I'm in the thick of it and I'm kind of getting trampled a little bit. Okay. Like, <laughs> hey, you want a hot dog? Hey, whoa, watch, whoa, what the heck, man? Hey, hey, don't step on me, what the heck? And I'm just like getting stepped I wanna on see him. I wanna see Ryan and his super sexy muscles. Get out of the way. Just getting trampled and now all the hot dogs are ruined. Oh. Okay. Jeez. I, I'm just trying to pick up the the rest of the hot dogs that I can. Aster, you you do you do see this as it happens, sort of right behind you, as these people rush onto the railing. Uh, no, I don't. Fucking crushing Connor. <laughs> no, I don't. Aster jumps the like jumps on top of the railing again and yells, "They should call you child rats because you hit like a baby." And the the, <laughs> the man next to you turns and looks at you and like, "Isn't this your team?" Oh my god, oh my god, I'm so, oh my god, I'm so sorry. And then I get down. <laughs> and he goes back. Go wild rats! <laughs> yeah, go wild rats! <laughs> Come on, Ryan! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ryan, I, you've got the ball I, right now. Yeah. You've knocked I, I, I Gary grab, into, the, into the springy surface below. I tuck it into my arms and I land like a superhero <laughs> on one of the platforms. Okay. Um, 
I would like to look around and see where my teammates are at. I need to I need to pass this ball. I can't travel. Yeah. You see that you made uh, quite a bit of actually distance off this jump. You managed to make it one of the platforms ahead. Uh, mm -hmm. Your team, the rest of th this J crew, is kind of filling in around the right. They're hopping from, from platform to platform. Uh, so right now, Jason is slightly ahead of you on platforms to the right, but it looks okay. like there are there are some griffins covering, uh, looking like they're ready to possibly intercept. Okay. Um... What, who's on my left? Who's on my left? Is it gonna be? Uh, I'm gonna say Jackson. I see Jackson behind my. <laughs> okay, yeah, left Jackson's shoulder. there. Yeah, uh, is he covered at all? Uh, you don't see him covered right now. Okay. Jackson looks clear. Okay, so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a quick pass back and try to travel forward. Is what I'm gonna do. Uh, first pass of the net. season. <laughs> Yeah, it's like <laughs> no one ever passes the Jackson. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that changes today. Some oh. things need to change on this team, on the Wild Rats. <laughs> Fuck yeah. All right, so what are you trying to do here? You're passing it back to him? So I'm going to pass it around to him. Okay. And then I'm going to invoke the sneak around move, player move, to try to get up towards the net without somebody seeing me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you want to, like, drop <laughs> under the platforms and climb like a yeah, rat? Yeah, I'll, like, I'll, like, monkey climb down under them, sure. Dude, this game is fucking nuts. All right, yeah, go for it. Tell me what you're using to do it. Okay. Um, Let's see here. Uh, what is a good power here? I feel like, once again, all reliable, super strength to keep myself on those, on those rats and not falling. You know, um, I don't know. I don't know. If, I'm not going to count super sexy muscles this time. Uh, yeah, just that one, I guess. Let's roll. Okay. Plus one. That's f bad. <laughs> Four. Okay. You see, me, you see me jump down and I try to grab onto the railing. You take it from here, pal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as you jump down and try to swing around on the railing, Aster, you see as Gary is bouncing back up on this trampoline and fucking just like launches into Ryan, sending him like off course <laughs> and now like off of the field as Gary lands back on the platform. What are you, what are you <laughs> blind, you wild bat? <laughs> yeah, fucking Gary looks over. Yeah, yeah what that lady said. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I'm so sorry. Uh, and then Gary is going to look towards uh, the ball where it is now, at the towards the front, a little more towards the, the Griffin's goal, and he's gonna crouch down and get ready to what looks like sort of just pounce at it. Okay. Um, back up, is it back in my court here for like making moves? Yeah, what do you do? Okay, I need to recover. I'm, I'm getting back on the nearest platform to me. Okay. Sneaking isn't the way, clearly. Uh. Connor, mm. Connor, Connor, Connor. Huh, what, what? What? Connor, give me a hot dog. I, I lost all the hot dogs. Give me one from the floor. You want a floor dog? Give me a, give me a floor dog. Ask Hurry. That's gross. Just give it. Okay. I'm not gonna I eat it. The floor dog. Hey, that was oh, my hey, floor dog. What you do with your floor dogs is on you. Okay, can I, <laughs> can I sneakily throw this floor dog at Gary? Absolutely. <laughs> All right. He's pretty far away, and you're in a stadium full of people. But yeah, you can throw a fucking hot dog at Gary. <laughs> Go ahead and roll okay, it with okay. all you've got. Okay. okay. <laughs> um. All right. Can I add? Let me see my little little power tags. Hmm. I don't have anything for this because I'm not a I'm not a thrower. So. You're not. You don't have a hot dog throwing. What about your, what about what about the team tag? Protect each other. Protect each other. Does I'd that work? You, could, you would you would have to burn the tag for all of you guys. But yes, you could use that to throw a hot dog. Do not game. do that okay, for the I hot dog. I won't do that for the <laughs> hot dog. Um. Uh, Fucking wiener wallop. Dude, what if I could? What if I could? Uh, like, what don't if I could? Uh, wiener wallop. Would it be possible to disguise like a like a ray of light to try and blind a Gary with a hot dog? Is that possible? Or is what still are a hot you? Dog? Okay, if you explain to me what you are trying to do, I will. I don't know, allow I'm just gonna. It. I'm just gonna throw a hot dog at him. Okay. All right. It was. Uh, it was a five total. Okay. Um. Ryan. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, oh. hey. As you jump back onto the platform, you see Aster look at you, wink, and then throw a hot dog directly into your face that hits you in the fucking nose and you fall off the platform again. <laughs> Oh, shoot. <laughs> what was that and with, for? And with that, and with that, uh, as you've sort of been out of the game for a bit here, as you're kind of bouncing, trying to regain yourself, you hear this, and as the score goes up, zero, three. Fuck. I didn't mean to hit him. I meant to <laughs> I wipe a hot dog in my face. I look at Ass, you're like. <laughs> Get it together. <laughs> I... <laughs> He, he huddles with his team. Okay, yeah, you, you huddle back up. Uh, you huddle back up, and at this point, uh, a voice comes over uh, the loudspeaker and says, And that's going to be halftime, folks. The Wild Rats versus the Griffin turning out to be well, uh, just the same game as always. <laughs> Damn, and, bro, and, I didn't and, know what you were going with you guys. <sighs> Thought this was going to be the year, <sighs> Giant. What's going on? Dude, I'm trying my best. I just had a hot dog thrown in my face. Bro, a this is my, my senior cheek. year, dude. My girlfriend's in the crowd, man. <laughs> I look over and I see his girlfriend. She's such a nice lady. She looks so disappointed. She does. Giant, oh, man. No. This is my first year on the big V on varsity, and I don't want to mess it up. Mm, you're right. You're right, guys. We can't lose this. Okay, let's... We can, it's only half time. We can still get, what, three points? Four? That's right. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to bring out a real, real can of wild rap whooping, right, boys? And you see that yeah. they, they cheer a little bit, but they're a little, uh, yeah, a little yeah. discouraged. Come on, guys. We need to do a little better than that. Come on. We can win this still. These guys are weak. Look at that Gary guy. He's he's weak. I've seen. Hey, fuck I'm, you. I'm, Gary just looks I'm, at you. You're a piece of shit. You're nothing. You're dirt. I just give him the finger. <laughs> I've benched more than him in my life. And with this, as you guys sort of file off the field, this is going to commence halftime as the lights sort of dim. As, as the announcer begins to speak, you see these colored uh, lights that have been sort of flashing the whole time uh, turn this darker red and flash towards the bottom of the stadium where the platforms start to realign to create a staircase. And now for a home field performance from everyone's <laughs> favorite professor and our very own school rat. <laughs> Everyone give it up for Professor Eliana and Bee-Wee. Bee-Wee. Uh, Bee Master, you especially, you see next to you, everyone goes fucking wild and just like a couple people start taking their shirts off. <laughs> I get thrashed once more. I'm being like, can I be like, uh, crowd surfing, but not by choice. They're just like, <laughs> they're just like throwing me around. <laughs> hey, put me down! Put you me just down! Go and do, they fucking pass you Help. across the field and you bounce on the trampoline into the Griffin section and they fucking throw you back. <laughs> Aster hears this announcement and she's like, D Dad? Uh, and you see, walking up these platforms is none other then Aster, your father, Professor Eliana. He's wearing these sort of black pants and black shoes. He's got this white undershirt that's a little more unbuttoned than it should be. Uh, and a, and, a, and a, like a, a tie that's a little undone as well. Um, his hair is, is messy yet somehow perfect at the same time. <laughs> and he's wearing this like glittery red vest over his usual attire. And it's important to note, uh, as he rolls up his sleeves, that all of his skin uh, is is sexually covered in dew like a Coca-Cola <laughs> <laughs> oh And he walks God. up, he, he walks looks up ridiculous. the stage. He walks up the stage and he has uh, in his hands, he's holding what looks like uh, a cage under this red velvet covering. Be we the red? <laughs> And the fucking wild rats, the wild rats side of the stadium, it's Pee Wee! Oh! Ah! Ah! And Professor Eliana, man, I'm horny! And uh, he's, gonna, <laughs> he's gonna keep walking up. He walks up uh, to the top of this and he takes this microphone that a stagehand placed there. And he taps on it a couple times. 
<clears throat> and he holds it up to his mouth. Hey guys. And the crowd fucking like loses it. They all go absolutely insane. Uh, pants are starting to come off at this point. The song I'm about to perform is one of me and my daughter's favorites. She's actually here in the crowd right here today. Don't yeah, there she is Don't right over there. Don't... And all of the spotlights whoop, go over fucking to you in the stadium as they swing over as we're to where he's pointing. What do you do? <laughs> Everyone say hi to Aster, my daughter. <laughs> the whole crowd, hi, Aster! I just look at him like, I'm gonna bite the shit out of you. <laughs> From the sidelines, you see Ryan kind of give a goofy wave. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna mix your clothes. I'm gonna put red with white. And your white t-shirts oh, no. are gonna all be pink. <laughs> okay. uh, and then, and then uh, the the lights flash back over to him. They whip back over to him, and uh, he is joined on these floats by various dancers in in this colorful red and gold attire oh my God. as the halftime performance begins. <laughs> so uh, Elijah Eliana, the the professor is absolutely fucking killing it on the stage. He's breaking it down and he's got all these people accompanying it. Uh, he's absolutely slaying it out there. And then uh, he says, uh, a a after he's done with his set, after he's done singing, he places the, the cage down as well as the beat like drops. And he says, take it away, be we. And he lifts up the red <laughs> curtain. <laughs> And Bowie's not there. And the whole crowd gasps. Oh. Where the fuck is Bowie? <laughs> and now. <laughs> um Connor. You feel yeah. you feel something hit your shoulder, like from above? I would I am I still being thrown around? Have, some, have they let me down? You, you got you got you got set down kind of like you're like lying in a daze and you like feel okay. something like hit your shoulder from above. Okay, uh, I look over to my shoulder. Yeah, you see this little black rat with kind of beady eyes looking at you. Uh, hey, squeak, squeak, squeak. And then you feel something hit your foot. I look down at my foot. It's a little brown rat. <laughs> uh, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Hey. I just start waving at that one, too. I start waving at the and, rat? And, like, try not to move the rest of my body. Okay. In this quiet after the gasp, where Biwi has been revealed to no longer be in his cage, um, I need Ryan to face danger. Can you roll that for me? Yeah, absolutely. As you start to hear something. Uh, that is a seven. Would any of my powers be applicable here? Probably discipline. Discipline? Okay, so that's an eight, then. That's going to take you up to an eight? Okay. Um, yeah. Here's what's going to happen. You hear this uh, kind of... You hear this music. Um... And as it sort of weaves its way into your ear and it almost feels like it wraps around your brain a little bit. Uh, I want you to take the controlled two status. In this quiet after the gasp, you see members of the Wild Rats team stumble out of the shadows and into this glaring spotlight. They point to the other side of the stadium at the Griffins. And they all open their mouths and speak in unison. I'm gonna say, Ryan, since you only have a controlled two status, you don't have. You are compelled to do this, but if you wouldn't, you don't. I'm totally gonna do it. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, Aster and Connor, you also see Ryan up there with them, pointing at the Griffins. And they all speak in in unison. Too long has 
this rivalry stood Griffins, Griffins of, of Gilmore. Gilmore. Too, Too many, many times, times have you forged, have you forged a barrier for between us, us and, and the victory, the victory we, deserve. we deserve. Nonetheless, Nonetheless if we if cannot we acquire, acquire this, merit, this merit, then we will then see, we will to, see it to it that neither can you. Can you. Prepare, Prepare yourselves, Griffins, Griffins, for the for end, the of, end all of all your games. games. Prepare, Prepare yourself for, for Ratnarok. Ratnarok. <laughs> and as they say Ratnarok, the spotlight is drowned out by hundreds <laughs> of rats pouring out of the ceiling, out of these like beams and and uh, and various like lights, they are just coming into fucking view. This like tidal wave, sheets of rats. And as they fall ac uh, across the court as well, they start hitting the trampoline below and just getting <laughs> bounced out everywhere <laughs> into the crowd as this just like absolute chaos is happening. Would, what does like everyone do? I would like to say right now, any any stumbling or jumbling of words I just did was totally canon because I wasn't it wasn't controlling me to do it. I was just saying what I thought. Um, okay. I, okay, I quickly run up to uh, wherever Connor is because I, I can't I can't get to the, the the platforms or the stage right from the, uh, the you the, you could but you'd have to the... like jump the railing. No, thank you. Uh, so I'm gonna I run am over not to... moving, and there are rats on me. Yeah, you see Connor is just like I'm just like I'm gonna, stricken I'm gonna pull let, let's say less less Connor and more a ball of rats with Connor's head poking. <laughs> I'm just out. like I'm just like staring blankly at the ceiling and I see you come by and I like slowly move my head over to look at you. I'm gonna use my uh uh if I can, can I'll help <laughs> Yeah yeah So I'll say move, leave him alone and then I wanna use Alpha over animals to see if I can uh Encourage them, intimidate them to fucking run away yeah, from me. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be a convince roll. We'll do that. So, and there is a there is a story tag Ooh. that you can use to your advantage or disadvantage right now. Uh, there is a panicked crowd, and, I, and the danger rolled... the danger is very very clearly the rats. I rolled twelve uh, against alpha over the rats okay with the 12 mm -hmm. you change their agenda to include yours at least for the time being yeah so with the 12 uh what do you do to make the rats scurry get, get away from him or <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah when you say get away from him they all look at you and when you, and when you go they all fucking just like scatter at, at I, once i, and, I and do like a left there. it's an animal communication uh sound only i do like a very low like uh uh, like wolf growl uh, that that intimidates the little rats, but no one else can really notice it. If that's if okay. that works, okay. Yeah. Uh, and then I help Connor up. I I have not moved since they left my body. I am just Come, um, stiff. Get up! Uh. Come on! <laughs> I'm gonna start helping him up. I'm gonna pull your arm up. I come up. come on! Get up! I just kind of stand there for a second. It's just. <sighs> uh, <laughs> we have to get out of here. Yeah. What was that? Um, Where, where's? I don't know. I look, but we should probably leave and uh soon. Wait, but what's what's up with uh? What's up with the J crew? Aster, there? Uh, at this and point, Aster oh. and Connor, you guys also see as well. I, I won't speak for what Ryan's doing, um, but the rest <laughs> of the J crew are uh, still kind of pointing, uh, just like staring ahead blankly, and hmm. Professor. Eliana is just like looking up, kind of screaming as this new like entire <laughs> sheet of rats is falling down on all of them. Okay, yeah. Uh, as, so if you as, don't do something, they will be hit by an entire sheet of rats. As they're getting helped up and stuff, Ryan's gonna turn around to the boys like, <laughs> that's a good prank, guys. We intimidated them for sure. And I'm just gonna stare at them for a second like- Yeah, they don't do anything. Jason? <laughs> Wait, who came up with that plan anyway? That was smart. Where'd we get all the rats from? Oh my god. <laughs> he looks yeah. up and sees this little blanket of rats. Oh, you look up as well? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. when you look up as well, um, you see the mascot for the wild rats uh, in, a, in a, like the Bee-Wee <laughs> costume just standing over like menacingly looking down at you and he's sort of glowing with this like green light and when he sees that you're looking at him, um, he just gets on all fours and like runs along the like rafters oh. into a vent. 
Oh. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know they're they're the L crew now okay there's something Ryan my dad yeah what's up your dad yeah grab he's my right dad. here okay I grab him I just grab him. okay yeah so what you're trying to do now is are you trying to because you are having a shit ton of rats come down on you um mm -hmm. what are you trying to do effectively are you just grabbing him because if you just grab him, you're going to get hit by a sheet of rats. <laughs> yeah, okay, I know the I know the sheet of you know, as dumb as he might be, he knows there's a sheet of rats coming down. He'll grab him like, I'm gonna get on the underside of a trampoline again. What? <laughs> Holy fuck! Oh, I don't think clever. I'm gonna be able to jump away from him. I don't feel like there's enough time. <laughs> so. Okay, so effectively. Oh no! I'd like to change the game. I remember I have my umbrella on me. <laughs> Bruh, okay. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Up to you, just tell me what move you're doing. Um, let's see here. It wouldn't be face danger, I don't think, right? It would be face danger if you're using your like strength to swing around and avoid the rats. It would be uh, change the game if you're trying to grab something or find something or, or uh, basically create something new that makes this easier for you. Um... Face danger is pretty all-encompassing. Okay. Because, like, I want to... What I want to do... Would would the fact that we're in this stadium be a story tag that we're playing hoverball and there's trampolines everywhere? Football. Or, football, football, my bad. Uh, I, I would... Depending on how you use it, yeah, it could be. Because, like, what I want to do is I want to take cover underneath the trampolines and be safe from the falling sheet of rats. Okay, yeah, I'll give, you, I'll give you plus one for using that, then. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say that's. I'm gonna say take the risk. That that seems daring, risky, or outright stupid. Yeah, I'd say that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, so since I'm grabbing and holding her dad, uh, I would say yeah, super I, strength and super sexy muscles are really good. Her um, tone was definitely save dad. Cause yeah, I can't. Yeah. Okay. Uh, loyalty to friends because I want to save her dad. I don't want to okay. let her down. Go ahead. And um, everyone burns that tag now. Everyone burns the loyalty. Oh wait, no. Is oh, that that's just that's my that's, that's, on, that's my okay. joke like right. gotcha. disposition. I'm not gonna use got each other's backs right now. I don't think. Uh, and also discipline. This been play like patience. Nah, we're not gonna use I would it. Say I'll no. just plus. That's a plus four total right now. So I'll just take that as it comes. Okay, so that is a nine. Uh, okay. <clears throat> With a nine, you're going to be able to do it, but you're going to have a choice here. Uh-huh. Um, when you try to take cover with the professor, the rats start crawling, uh, basically, like, around and at you. Mm -hmm. You have a choice of whether you want to get swarmed uh, and basically, you know, to, to get the professor out of harm's way, or if you want the professor to get swarmed and to get yourself out of harm's way. You'll be in uh, harm's way if you let my dad get hurt, you hear me? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll get swarmed. No, I don't think, I don't think Ryan would let the professor get swarmed. Not his beautiful fucking uh, He's too beautiful, body. he can't, yeah. Uh, always I, perspirating. <laughs> always so dewy. Mm, I, I kind of like swing the professor over towards where Arlen is to like try to grab onto the railing or something and the, like they help them up him up or something you know and I'll just kind of stay there and get swarmed by fucking rats. Okay yeah yeah you swing <laughs> over uh Professor Eliana is out of danger now but the rest of you see as Ryan under this thing the rats basically curve around the platform and also <laughs> some that are falling off bounce back up into him. Ryan go ahead and take the status swarmed too. <laughs> <laughs> dad, dad! Oh my god, you look ridiculous! Oh, Bee-wee was gonna take it away. There are way too many Bee-wees and they- We were gonna do a- uh, uh, we were gonna do a synchronized break dance. Well, Professor, I think they definitely took it away. I'm sure you would have absolutely slayed it. Aster, Connor, what? What? What is happening? Your guess is as good as ours. Uh, listen, you gotta get to Con- uh, to- Ryan over there, I, I, yeah, we should no, get these people out of here. I can't let that happen to my students. I can't let the rats take another. Don't, uh, don't worry. We'll, we'll take care of that. But you should probably get out of here. Here, 
Get everyone out of here. See if you can open up the doors. We're gonna try and get Ryan. Go ahead and roll to convince him, um, Connor, because right now you can tell he's trying to go back in for Ryan. Okay. okay. Oh, I didn't do it very well. Uh, I don't really have anything that I could use to convince. Uh, that's a three. A three? Yeah. What do you? Okay. Are there, with, are there with, not with a, with a three? We're talking to him together. Um. I I I would say in this instance. Um. Well, I was the one who was basically giving the orders. I, I, I would, yeah, I would say, I would say no in this instance, because effectively you're really just, you know, you're trying to convince him. You got a three? Yeah, even with a plus one, you know, for having Aster there, it's still going to be a fail. Um, so here's what's going to happen. Uh, he says, I'm sorry. I can't. And he dives <laughs> back into the arena, and this fucking second he does, uh, and he, like, in midair... <laughs> He is just like absolutely hit with another sheet of rats that all surround him and start carrying him off like somewhere else. No, wait, why would you? Daddy! Your dad's kind of dumb. And you see as the rats like take him uh, upwards and just like out of the stadium. <laughs> What's happening with me? Am I just swarmed there? Like? You're still swarmed. What is, uh, what is Aster doing right now? Connor, Connor, what do we do? I don't know. Can't you just make them go away? It doesn't work like that. Here, let well, me see if I got something. I pull out a a kind of a really old looking book that's kind of yep. got this red paint on it that's all like splotchy and there's uh there's like black symbols all over it and there's like a lock on the side. And I kind of just open up the book and I'm like flipping through the pages. I don't know what half this stuff means. Charlie. Yeah. Charlie, can we bring the spotlight back to Ryan for a second? Uh, I'd like to have Connor a flashback. Thing, yes. Okay. Do I mean, think, I, Connor? I don't really think I have a thing. I was just looking. Okay. For a yeah. Thing. Connor looks in a fucking book. Um, and as, as you do as, as well, Connor in this, in like the bleachers next to you as well, you see the rats kind of start to form up into like this big rat lump wave. And then we're going to go ahead and shift back over to Ryan. What are you doing, Ryan? Ryan is on the inside of this pile of rats that are swarming him. <laughs> and he thinks back to the time when he was young, Charlie. When he was young and, and he got dogpiled by all his friends, every single one of them. There's uh -huh. at least 25 of them. But using his super awesome muscles, he, he somehow burst out and then blew all his friends away. <laughs> yes. He was okay. so strong yeah, and you awesome remember, back then. You remember back then when you were dive, <laughs> fucking dogpiled by your, uh, your rat-like friends. And you remember the feeling of, of bursting free, of getting out of there. Mm -hmm. And I would like... So, wait. How does that work? Do you just award me with a juice and I can use that? <laughs> to... Let's see. Uh, so, the flashback move... Um... <laughs> It says in the last paragraph that, uh... Okay, yeah, that would be a juice or a clue. Oh. I, I'd say in this situation, yes, that would be a juice, not Oh, a wait, no, 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 one second. It says, describe an action carried out by your character in the past and make a move for that action. The outcome of that move affects the current scene. Oh, that's scene. so fucking cool. Okay, okay, I understand now. All right. Okay. You flash back to when you were in kindergarten. And it's, it's me and the J crew. It's you We've and the, you and so the J long. crew. I guess it was so always gone to the same school. Uh, and the J crew looks over at you and you're a new initiate to the J crew. They haven't started calling you Giant I, yet. You're just I lied right to them. Now. No, I I lied to them. I told them my name was Giant. Oh, you told them your name was <laughs> yeah. Giant? Back in kindergarten, they never figured it out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jason looks over to his other pals and, and speaks out in the exact same voice that he still has. <laughs> hey, A crew, why don't we welcome another J? Let's go, uh, let's go give, yeah. give Giant some, some, a big hug. And then he just fucking, they all just pile on you. They all just jump on you. And as you're getting piled on by all of the J crew, go ahead and roll me. Yeah. I'm going to say this is go toe to toe. Go toe to toe. Unless okay. you're trying to, 
you know, Do I have any of my powers? Right? I wouldn't have my powers at this point in my life. That's up to so you. So is wouldn't it just you? flat? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be doing my squats. I canonically got my powers through squats. Okay. Oh, that's good though. That's good. That's a five and a five. That's a ten. You got a ten? That's a ten. Okay. Wait. Oh no. But Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> I'm bad in a squeeze, Charlie. <laughs> You're bad in a squeeze, and you also do have swarmed too, so that is minus three to ten, which makes it a seven. Fuck. <laughs> okay. On a seven. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. You can choose one. You either achieve your goal, get them good, or block, dodge, or counter their best efforts. Um. I'd achieve my goal of escaping their grasp. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, you remember the feeling of standing up with all of these J Crew members on you and flexing your little child arms and, and, and launching them all backwards. And as you remember this feeling, as we come back to reality, um, Ryan, what do you do to just launch all these rats? You see the, 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 the pile of rats slowly begin to rise into a shape of a humanoid and his ar their arms go up like this and you just see a big flex as they fly off. Yeah, the rats just go fucking uh, screeching outwards. But you do also take a bitten to status as the rats like nibble at you while they go flying. Okay. Since you chose I now, to get I, them off. I now have a new fucking puncture i guess let's go oh, did you go. read any faster ryan ryan they took my dad hold on hold on i have an idea i have an idea does the light look like it's it's affecting the rats in any way <laughs> i am free <laughs> oh my god you're so powerful does the light from what just the the spotlight does it uh, look you like the rats they're, they're, yeah they're scurrying around it they're not going what's, right what's, into it what's they're happening to the j it? crew yeah <laughs> The J right, Crew is still fucking standing there, man, and like from the waist down, they are just covered in rats. <laughs> oh my god! You guys have got to do something about these rats, or there's gonna be a lot of a lot of rats. I want to wear. I regroup uh, at this point. <laughs> where the professor is. Yeah, almost like he, outside the stadium. Almost outside. Um, You'd be hard pressed to get to him and and. Is save it him. light outside? Uh yeah, it's daytime. Okay, I want I want to try and and make the the roof above him decay so the light shines onto him. So, I don't, dude. I have a book that makes things die. What do you? What I make all like I can't make, make all the rats, rats die, die, dude. All of them. <laughs> Why you can't, not? couldn't you? Couldn't you decay all the rats? That's okay, what I was I, thinking. Uh, yeah, sure. I, I kill all the rats. I, then. You're, I didn't you're think... literally a death note, and you're looking at a bunch of rats. <laughs> How to deal with these? I, Let's fucking. I'll break I, the, the ceiling above them. I want to make it bright, dude. I don't. Th I don't want to like accidentally kill everybody. Okay, that's why I haven't changing, done anything. <laughs> you're ch if you do, if you do that, you're changing. You're changing the game if you're letting the light in here. Yeah, I want to. Okay, can I just? Can I just take a lot of the ceiling out and try and? Get these rats away? Yeah, sure. Uh, go ahead and okay. that would be a change the game roll. And tell me what All you're right. adding to it. Tell me what you're All adding. All right, so for that, I would add, um, hmm, I could add, I mean, you I do have, have a, the- You have a minus one right now as the panicked crowd is bumping into you around you in the stadium. I have the death magic power tag. I that can would add. definitely apply, yep. Um, I would say, I mean, it is it is a moral thing to to get rid of these rats, right? I'm protecting people. <laughs> that is strong. I have a strong morality, therefore I can why destroy do you think, a ceiling. Why do you think rats die to the light? I I mean, I, so I, I think they would go away. I think I'm not killing them, but I'm protecting the people. They just evaporate. <laughs> they can't. They came Wait, out the, of the a school, spotlight. The school keeps Bewey in complete darkness. <laughs> just so he doesn't <laughs> That's evaporate. Why they the you said they were avoiding the light. I want I want them to scurry away. Yeah, they away. came out from above where the lights are, but when they hit the ground, they do try and scurry around the light. They clearly don't want to be in it. Yeah, so, so yeah. that's why I'm... Okay, okay, so you have minus one for the crowd. You have plus one for death magic. Uh, I think that's really all I have that would that would work here. Okay. Um, and then that will be a 
Nine. Okay. Uh, on a nine, you get uh, you get one juice. Okay. So what that means is you can okay yeah so effectively you use that juice to create the story tag of the the roof light. So describe to me how you do this. Okay, so I would read out uh, something from the book frantically, and, and I would want I would just want the ceiling to like fall into ash. You can describe how parts. it happens. You can describe how the ceiling falls. You can do all that. Uh, like like, kind of like go to ash, like dust, dirt fall down onto onto there and the light would come down onto where the professor is and just all around the ceiling i mean if it's could i make it entirely go away or or is the it whole just ceiling? parts of it but like how much how much ceiling can i get rid of here you can get rid of an area of ceiling i'm not going to get rid of, let you get rid of the entire ceiling stadium for a fucking like basketball stadium sized place yeah i would do it over over where her dad is Okay, cool. Where the professor yep, is. Yep, you do. Um, if you rolled higher, I would have let you do a higher space. But okay. uh, yeah. for this in particular, you do as you described. And the light comes in through the rats, and you do see them scurry away from him, leaving him literally, like, barely. He was about to go out um, into, like, a hallway through on the side of the stadium. You just barely saved his skin. Sweet. All right, we gotta, we gotta go get him. There are still rats falling and just flying fucking everywhere in this Okay, stadium. but what about, like, the rest of the rats, man? I There's don't a lot know. of people just... in here. I mean, like... Um, I, well, I need yeah, to... Yeah, a lot of them, a lot of them are cleared out by now, uh, which is important to note. But, you know, they're mostly just funneling out the, the main exits. Uh-huh. Um, um, I have I'm a question. Not to... the J Crew. J Crew is, uh, not looking super good. Pretty covered in rats. Can hey. I... Oh, Sorry, go ahead. No, I just no, wanted to use the investigate move uh, to look for, like, either where the rats are, are coming from or, or where or how we could stop them without causing mass destruction of power. Uh, well, I will say that you saw the rats run away from the light is definitely a thing. But go ahead and roll investigation plus whatever you're using. Six. I'm pretty sure that's a fail. <laughs> well, it's pretty hard to roll high when you don't have things that apply to it. Oh God. Okay. I just I'm just looking for like a, like a like a like a, a solution or an answer, uh, because Aster wouldn't start firing off beams of light that could potentially hurt and burn other people right now. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you look down at the crushed hot dogs on the ground that some rats are gnawing at. You think to yourself, huh? Neat. And then the tidal wave of rats that was forming earlier fucking slams into you. Go ahead and face danger for oh me. <laughs> well, they like hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, Charlie here, and I'm just going to take a minute and talk about our sponsors. Great. That's all we've got right now, but if you're a brand that wants to advertise on our show, feel free to reach out. But in terms of things that actually support our show, that really just comes down uh, to all of our patrons on Patreon. That's really how we keep this whole thing going. And recently we've been beefing it up a ton and we have a lot of really cool stuff on there. Right now I'm looking, we have the concept art for uh, Grizzly's One Shot, the Black Rose Pirates are on there. Uh, we have just rolled with it, should be up by now, where we talk about sort of, it's like our session after the session where we talk about everything that happened. Um, stuff we liked, stuff we didn't expect, and maybe even some other things we wanted to do but couldn't exactly get to in the session. Actually, if I'm recording this now, when, when this episode is up, we're also going to have character concept art up there of the uh, the Wilmot and Wild Rats, all, all the characters in this in this episode. That's just what we've got on the Patreon right now, but if any of that sounds interesting at all to you, please go check it out. Uh, pledge a little if you can. It is pretty much what keeps our show going and will allow us to just keep getting bigger and better. I'm just going to keep it to that for today. But again, thank you guys so much for your support. And I really hope you're enjoying the one shot so far. Let's get right back into it. Would you say that would provide a lot of cover if this was a big enough swarm? To where they would instantly cover me? I... They could. It's fine. Sure, I rolled. Sure, I rolled. Sure. I rolled. A, I rolled an A total. I'm not. I don't have any power tags to use here. 
Okay, that's gonna be yeah, that's gonna be a mixed success. Um You don't have any power tags to use? Not for avoiding danger. I wasn't exactly expecting the rat uh swarm. Alright, alright, you take swarmed two, as the rats uh, are now kind of like swarming around your body. Okay. Charlie, I would like to do something. Yep, please. Um taking the risk here. That's the player move. Yep. Um you know, Giant. His his heart it's with the J crew, man. Yeah. He looks up and he sees the spotlight. It's not even it's not even facing towards where the J crew is, right? Nope. I'm gonna jump towards that spotlight and try to swing it around and point it where I need to point it. That's, a, the that's really smart. That's really fucking smart. <laughs> um, I would say this is this has changed the game. You think so? Yes. Uh, go okay. ahead and tell me what you're using to do this. As well, you know, I will just tell you for the sake of using your powers, um, most people are fucking, like, crazy running away and there's rats everywhere. Yeah, so so you assumed really... if you jumped higher than this... normal, people probably wouldn't think too much about it. Yeah, I'm kind of assuming that, too. I'm a pretty... I'm the jumper guy in the team. So, yeah, super strength, super sexy muscles, because that's what I used earlier. Um, loyalty to friends, because I'm trying to help my friends out here. Yep. Uh... It's fair. What about what about reliable friend in college soon? That's kind of the same thing almost. I don't think that counts here. I don't think that's more like, hey, I have a friend who will help me when I need to. I thought that so. was what you you meant by it. Um, no, nah, no. Nah. But you could use you could use that tag. I would let you. Uh sure. Why not? That's plus four. <laughs> okay, cool. Go ahead and roll for me. Okay. Eight. So twelve. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Um, describe to me how you do this, and as well, you see Jason, for just a second, uh, snap out of this sort of trance and create a foothold for you out of his, out of his hands for you to jump oh, off Oh, man. I, I, you see me leap off the bleachers, I'm kind of like swinging my arms out in the air as I land on his, his foothold, and I pounce towards the spotlight, I grab it. Since I got a 12, can I also point it towards Aster as well? Like, So here's what you get to do. You get four power uh, on this, so you get four juice. Okay. So you can either create a story tag, uh, burn a power tag or a story tag, give or reduce a status. Um, you can also use two juice to scale up the effect, prolong the effect, hide the effect, or any other improvement you can think of. So you could use this with your role, absolutely, to, like, take two spotlights like captain america or something and like yes. shine like you can you can double up yes i'll grab the spotlights and i'll point one towards <laughs> fucking um towards aster and one towards the j crew and i'll just like i'll be sprawled out like this i'm like ah and there's rats on the ceiling <laughs> yeah there you do that like there's there's a couple but you, you actually notice they aren't like going for you they're just kind of like skittering around up there mm -hmm. um and this light does shine off the rats away from the j crew and also aster you are no longer swarmed as these rats leave you and you you feel this bright warmth uh, upon you i have you. a question actually about the uh the, the tags or whatever whatever they're called okay um, yeah what's up so i don't have swarmed or controlled anymore right or do i still have control you would uh you would still have controlled you wouldn't have swarmed Okay. Uh, controlled, would just, it's kind of like more just a thing happening in your head, so you'd still ha take that minus two, but that's still a success. Um, okay. So it doesn't matter for the sake of this. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, just make sure you add that up, because I'm not, I'm not tracking those as much. Okay, um, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, actually, with this as well, as you uh, scatter these rats, you notice that, for the most part, the stadium now is mostly clear as these people finish funneling out and the rats as well, when they're scattered, uh, kind of look around a little and then scurry off like under various things. You see a couple drag a hot dog under a bleacher. I'm just gonna hold up there for a bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You are you are now free from the danger of the rats. What does everyone want to do? Uh, Aster, would you still be like down or would you have picked yourself up? Uh, she probably breathed heavily for a second and then uh, would would bolt up and, and rush over to where her father was if he's still in the stadium now. I'd go with you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You guys you guys run up to Professor Eliana, who is kind of still like picking himself up, dusting himself up. Okay, uh 
I head over there too. After I'm sure the danger's gone. <laughs> dad, Dad, are you hurt? No, I... Is everything okay? I think I'm okay. Just got a couple little nibbles. You see a couple, like, a, li a little blood on his perfect uh, Mountain Dew skin. No. <laughs> okay, um, do, do I have any... I guess I'll have to roll down my sleeves. And he rolls down his sleeves over. A oh. single tear falls down Ryan's cheek. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Before you do that, do, do I have any, like, The less uh, skin the professor shows, the worse grades his students get. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any what? Do I have, like, uh, what do I... I wouldn't be carrying bandages right now. Okay, I tell you what. Can I let me know if I can do this? This will be interesting. Uh, okay. I pull out a book that has a like a symbol of a um, a few petals going into a swirl on the on on the on the front of it, and I open it up and I flip to a page, and I remove uh, a a pressed flower from one of the the pages, and I would like to try and uh, use my plant growth uh, power. And using the rays of light from the sun, uh, of the roof, from the roof that he, uh, decayed, I want to just take this pressed string of, of, uh, of flower and grow it into, uh, in into, like, a wrap of some sorts. Like, a little bit of, uh, like, a bandage made out of flower Oh, that's stem. interesting. Um, so you want to kind of, like, grow it around into, into a bandage that you can apply. Yeah, okay. to keep pressure and so that he doesn't, you know, continue to bleed over everywhere. I would just basically press the the stem underneath I, my thumb, yeah, uh, on his on his skin, and then have that like wrap around. That's that's creative. I'm gonna just go ahead, uh, roll, change the game with that applicable power, whatever you're using. Sure. Change the game. So I have a question. Yes. Uh, do I still have like leftover juice then from that change the game I did, or how's that uh, work? No, it got so you used. Um, you use the the basically the effects to uh, burn the tags and scale up the effects to to make the rats remove. Okay. I just didn't okay. want to go through explaining all that, so I kind of just said, yeah, you use all that all that juice. But in the future, okay. I will. T yeah, you can you can choose if you have the player list. You can tell me what you're doing exactly. Okay, so I, like I can choose how much juice I want. I can yeah, save you some. Yeah, you can say you can save juice. Okay. All right. Uh, nine. It just has to be yeah. Uh, okay, with a nine. You Five, used three one, plus one. You used one power tag for this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, plant growth. Cool. Yes. Um, I'm gonna say, yep. You can reduce his status of bitten. Um, cool. So you wrap. Well, describe to me how you do this. Yeah, uh, I take the uh, flower part of it and press that underneath my thumb on the wounds or one of the wounds, and then from there the stem will uh basically like swirl around um around the thumb of mine and then swirl around his arm and uh keep going are growing up or down wherever the wounds are going into this little stringy like uh leafy nature bandage yeah uh and he sort of moves his arm around thank you aster but wait and he, he kind of like grabs you as well and starts turning you around are, are you okay is everything it would have been in place ten, actually the roll I don't know if that changes anything. Uh, it does. Okay, yeah, he looks a little better. Okay, cool. So his status is fully reduced. He looks, he looks like healed up. Um, he's doing better. Uh, I'm, I'm all right. I. What happened? Are you sure? Did you get? You didn't get a little nibble. Um. I mean, uh, no, I don't think I was bitten. They seem to be pretty timid around me. I, I did kind of scream at them. <laughs> 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 I don't well, know if they if, were they they look like works, normal rats. And normal rats usually don't bite me. I, I don't think normal rats usually don't fall from the ceiling onto the float ball final. Speaking of the ceiling, Ryan's looking up towards where he saw Bee Wee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I think I saw Bee Wee up there earlier. <laughs> yeah, I saw like fifty of them. Bee no, I mean like Bee Wee should have been with with me. No, I, I mean like the big one, you know, him. like like the, the the guy in the costume one. Oh, the, the mascot, guy. the mascot. Yeah, that one. Uh, That's I, the he one. was he was supposed to be performing at halftime with me. And... Oh yeah, no, he was. I I think I saw him up there, and he he crawled on all fours out of the building. <laughs> well, Ryan, that's awful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty weird. Hope he's okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, why would he be crawling on all fours? If... Hang on, hang on. Okay, so we saw the J Crew. 
Listen, they Noah's always insane. been a weird guy. I, I'm sorry. This is... Let me know. You can call me if, if you need my help, but I need to check on my other students as well. No, you... go. You should. You should just yeah, go. Of course. Of course. Take and... care. Make sure everyone's okay. Okay. And and he looks at you, Aster, as well, and he sort of takes you uh, by the shoulders and looks you in the eyes. Don't do anything crazy. You're you're the one to be talking? Just looking out for my students. And then he fucking, like, sprints out. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you I don't know, perspiration think... flying behind him. It's beautiful. Take the vest off. Take the. He doesn't. You know, I, I don't think Noah ever glowed green like that either. That's weird. Glowing green. Now uh, the J Crew, they're they're strange, but they're not that strange. Well, that's he's not part of the. J he's got an N in his name. No, 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 no. But they, but they were, the way they were pointing. No, you did it too. Oh you... yeah, yeah, yeah. The the whole uh, uh the whole. Um, too long has this rivalry stood, Griffins of Gilmore. Yeah, Prepare that. yourself for Retnarok. That was funny. That was a good one, right? I don't know who came up with that, but... Wait, uh, did, you, did you... So that was a plan? You guys had the plan to do that? Uh, no, I mean, I, they just started doing it, and I felt like I had to as well, you know? I just figured maybe they talked oh. about it without me, you know? Ryan, kinda... how did you know the words, then? How did I... Huh. Okay, all right. There's there's <laughs> something different going on here. Uh, what can we do? Um, Aster, any ideas? No, I'm. I'm trying to think about it. I'm still shaking up because uh, we're not supposed to do anything. Um, well, that in public. So I just I sort of I feel really anxious. <laughs> I mean, listen, I kind of do all that stuff anyways, because, like, there's nothing subtle about these muscles, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I kind of give, I give Connor a pat on the back really hard, <laughs> like... I just kind of, like, jolt <laughs> forward and look at him uncomfortably. Okay, uh, um... The brain isn't a muscle, right, Connor? Pretty sure it is, but I don't think he's worked out his in a while. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, what if what if we go to the library? Maybe we can figure something out there. Uh, uh, you guys, you guys also <laughs> just uh, like oh, since the the stadium is more quiet now, you kind of make out the, the the sounds that are happening. You hear and yeah, Gary Gilmore sc scores again. Wild rats aren't gonna stop the Griffins, and the score goes up to zero four. <laughs> is is Gary on the field just? Yeah, most of the other griffins have run away, but he is he is currently like Wait, so he's got a little like rat still dangling on him. He's got a couple bites on him as well, and he's like dunked the ball into the hoop. Uh where's the J Crew at? What are they doing now that oh. Um yeah, so as you look over to where the J Crew was, where they used to be sort of standing and pointing, um, you can see now that they're actually making their way off the field and they look like they look like they're talking amongst each other, kind of looking around. Okay, well anyways, at this point, uh I'm gonna pick up one of the spare balls we have. I'm assuming there's a spare ball in this gym somewhere. I'm gonna throw it straight at Gil, uh, Gary. I, you know, <laughs> I just wanna, I wanna conk him. <laughs> okay, yeah, go ahead and fucking roll hit with all you've got on Gary Gilmore. Um, yeah. As well, the 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 B Wee Cage is still on the stage and some of the other stuff I just. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Um, Let's see here. Grab the roll. Cage. Oh, that's not as good as I thought it was. I thought it was two sixes. One second. So I would be using uh, super strength, super sexy muscles, and baseball pitch. So that's yep. a plus three already. All right. You're not gonna. You're not gonna take uh, any more minuses for this at this point. The control status has worn off, as has the crowd okay. that was here before. All right. So no more controlled status. Um, I don't think that martial arts discipline or hand to hand would really work out here. Nor being mm -hmm. handsome and charming. Uh, so Probably yeah, not, just a plus you three. Wink as you throw it. Um, a plus three? Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what, so that's you, eight. Okay. That's a um, five plus three, eight. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know what? Usually I would, I would tell you in this case to, you know, go through all these different options for what you do. Um, uh -huh. But it's fucking Gary Gilmore. And you throw mm -hmm. the ball, and he looks over uh, with this stupid fucking preppy face that the hair is in sort of disheveled because of all these rats. Uh -huh. uh, and you just like break his glasses. I break his glasses. Can the ball bounce off? off? He just falls off the hoop and like backflips. 
Can can the bottle fan just bounce off his face and fly into the other net and go one four? Yeah. Sure, or did I not roll? That. Yeah, no, sure. It fuck it. Fuck okay, it awesome. Matter. Yeah. <laughs> Beep. Uh, nice going, wild rats. The announcer loudspeaker says. Also, the game is canceled. Oh. Due to well, okay. the wild rats. Anyway, I mean, we could go to the library, I guess, but when's reading ever done anything good for me, you know? I'm thinking, uh, maybe we, we go look for, go look for Noah, you know? The guy's kind of acting up in that, in that suit there. Something strange. Uh, uh, we could look for him, but we wouldn't know what to do when we found him. Uh, I don't know. Instead of his name, is this something we should even get involved in? What do you mean? Of this course. is our school, Astrid. I'm not gonna let rats... I mean, the rats already kind of have taken over our school, you know, go wild rats. Uh, but not these rats, you know, I don't want these rats kind of running around mucking the place up, you know? It kind of I ruins the vibe. I want to make sure that we're sure, because this is the first uh, abnormal thing I've seen, well, since I've seen you two. Look, Astrid, I know you're not comfortable using your powers in public, but like... Look at how they swarm those people. We can't just let that happen. No, I agree. I agree. If, if, if something like this were to happen again, we we should know exactly how to stop it. But I don't uh, know. I, I didn't. We would be risking a lot if we decided to just. Yeah, well, I, know, I mean, I think about it like this. I feel like we're the only three with like any sort of capability to do something about these rats, you know? Uh, I've always kind of wanted to try being the hero a little bit, you know, so like worst case we just play it off You know, like I don't know your 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 rays of sun. You just had a really heavy flashlight <laughs> A heavy as, flashlight as stupid yeah, as like, it like sounds, maybe <laughs> So I should I just carry with... around the spotlight then Yeah, absolutely You know, maybe sure. you have a flash grenade Oh, fuck Ryan <laughs> I mean, we could get you a flashlight, and then you could just say you turned it on. I don't know how I'm gonna explain, uh... The ceiling. Nobody ever sees you read through- You read through books all the time, it's easy Seriously. for you to. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, the ceiling normally doesn't disappear. You know, like, in, and if you turn into, like, a dog or whatever, then, like, I'll just say that you're my dog, you know? Brewster. <laughs> Thank you both for saving my dad. I, I didn't know what to do. I froze up this time. Of course, of course. Uh, Wait, what time is it? You know I couldn't let anything happen to Mr. A. Beep, boop, 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 Stop boop, boop. talking yep. about him Animal so control. <laughs> it's Gary again. Yep, that's me. We got some, it looks like wild, wild rats in Wild Rats Stadium. No, not like the big game. Yeah, like actual feral rats. 30 minutes, okay. Okay. Boop. Where did you see him go? The mascot. Oh, well, he, uh, let's see here. So he kind of got down like this, and I, I kind of get into this weird deformed kind of crawling position. <laughs> <laughs> and he scurried off this way, and I scurried the way he did towards where he did. ask for charades, you peanut head. Squeeze, squeeze. <laughs> he goes. Where did he go? Peanut head. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> He, he crawls towards where I'm, I'm calling him Noah because I just his name's Noah. Now. His name's Noah now. His name's not Noah, but okay. <laughs> well, you know me. I don't really know people's names too well. <laughs> All right. Okay. So yeah, as you, as you learned that um, there there was a mascot. I guess Ryan starts crawling around on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> do to, I solve get, the, to solve the case <laughs> I get, do I get any inclination of where this uh, mascot has, has crawled off to I am crawling towards where the mascot crawled to I mean, yeah, I mean um, <clears throat> what's the significance of the mascot Connor have you read any stories about evil black magic rats I, I have read many stories about evil black magic but none of them had to do with rats or rat mascots? Rat mascot? No, it's. I you mean, guys I, clearly I, have I not learned, in here. heard the legend of Beewee. Here, I'll, I'll see if uh, 
I'll see if the man in the library has anything for us. Uh, uh, you guys, if just call me if you see anything. I gotta go real quick. I, I... Yeah, so, I mean, like, that's great. Uh, animal control is gonna be here in 30 minutes. What are so, they gonna like... do? Get swarmed by rats? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe like fucking do the thing where they, they, they pump gas into the school and we can't come back for three weeks. You know? Well, that would take care of the rat problem. Yeah, yeah. but what, what about my we... big game? <laughs> what? A... <laughs> it's a game. The motive! The motive! <laughs> <laughs> Look, we don't know what we're up against. You guys got a whole stadium here to fucking investigate as well if you want. I mean, it is, an inv it is an investigation. I'm just gonna say that as the DM, you're gonna have to investigate and figure this out if you want, so. I tried, but all I learned was that they were rats and they liked hot dogs. All yeah, you looked at that... down was down at hot dogs. Okay, I, I guess okay. I'll look at where they came from. I don't you know how much you can, what? You just say I look for things about the rats. You have to like, just like, tell me what you're, you know, where are you looking, what are you doing? All right, I'll look at the, at the entry point where they came in. Okay, you're looking up, like at the ceiling? Yeah. Okay. That's what I tried to do, and then I found hot dogs. Yeah, well, you yeah. rolled really bad. Uh, go right. ahead and roll. Uh, but you're not, you're not supposed to be able to try that's things what, twice, I mean, right? Again, like, just, just to be clear as well, there's people here you can talk to. Um, you know, there's um, uh, stuff on the court. There's all sorts of things. I got an 11. And okay. if, this has, if this has anything to do with, like, a, a common myth, like, myths that would be fairly common and, and more, like, well-known then I would have a, a power tag over it. Okay, add that. Okay, so that would be 12. Okay, it's with a 12? Yeah, all right. Um, with a 12, you uh, can ask, I believe. Let's see. Uh, how many power tags did you add to that? Just Investigation one. Roll. Just one? Okay. Uh, you get a clue, which you can use to ask me a question. What do you oh. want to ask? Mm. It's got to be within the scope and reason of what you're doing right now. This is well, fun. I'm glad you get, this is cool that you get to ask a question. Hmm. <sighs> this is a big question. I don't know. I feel like I'm on a game show right now. What do you want to ask? If you need to think about it, I have some investigating I want to do as well. Uh, yeah, go ahead and do your investigating. I'll think okay. about the question. Anyway, guys, I need to go check up on the J boys. <laughs> so uh, I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> Yeah, whatever, I giant. Run <laughs> uh, yeah, see ya. <laughs> and I, I run over there, and I'm gonna, I guess, investigation. Yeah, whatever, with con nerd. <laughs> yeah, whatever, con nerd. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Con nerd. Yeah. Um, what are you, what are you trying to do right now? Uh, I wanna, I wanna see what. The, go, hey, Jason, what was up with all that? You know, like the rats falling Yo, down, bro. and like. And like we all chanted the same thing for that was kind of weird, right? Oh. Like what was? Oh, yo, giant bro, come here. Yo, Dude. I, I kind of I dab him up quickly, you know. Dude, <laughs> someone ruined our big game, bro. I'm fucking pissed. Jason. I don't know what happened. We were we were about to make our comeback. You're dab me up again, giant. Get me, dab me up. <laughs> Bring him back in. Uh. I feel a little better each time. His status yeah, goes yeah. down by one every time you dab him up. Um, I dab him up so many times. <laughs> you dab him up. Yeah, oh, the entire oh, time good. he's talking, it's just like, oh yeah, and then like oh, a little I'm pen feeling... back, and then again. Oh. <laughs> now, hey, you know what I'm feeling now? I'm feeling yeah, yeah. OJ. <laughs> hey, yeah. dab me up. Dab me I up. dab him up again. I bring him in. Yeah. S somebody... Sorry, you said we we said something. All I remember is uh, getting ready to dunk on some griffins. Yeah, I look over to the fucking Gary. And then, uh, and then there was rats everywhere, yeah. up my legs, <laughs> up my waist, and, and you, and you hey see man, the other man, J it's crew. Okay, me up, bro. You see the other crew. Um, <laughs> we're, we're gonna say his name is uh, JT. Uh, kind of like Ooh. leans over to him and, and puts his arm around. It's okay, it's okay, Jason. Man, they're not here. They were up my. They were going up my pants. They were squeaking up my pants. Man, it's okay, man. You know, you're fine. I so got he clearly, you. Bro. He clearly does not remember uh, saying. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Does anybody else know anything? I mean, you know, it's pretty weird happenings where all the rats come from. <laughs> yeah, bro. 
<laughs> I mean, yeah. like, what, what are you what are you just asking? Hey, did anyone see anything at all? Yeah, anybody remember? Like, I don't know. Did, did we somebody like this hit us with some acid or something? Like, did they drug us? Uh, uh. I mean, yeah. So, um, <laughs> you're you're just trying no. to get them to reveal some some information about this. Basically, they, I'm guessing they have nothing there. So, I mean, not not, gonna... not really. Besides that, um. I would say the one other thing they maybe say um, is Giant, come in here, bro. Come in the huddle, come in. bro. We're huddling, I get in. I get in. <clears throat> Giant, we can't let them cancel the big game. You're right. I could never let that happen. <sighs> Gary just called Animal Control. They're going to have to shut the stadium down. No. Listen. No. Listen, bro. I know how it looks, but the wild rats do not... We didn't. We didn't cause those wild rats. Yeah, of course, man. I, mean, I, I figured if we were pulling some big prank, you'd have let me know about it at least. Like, <sighs> not, not this year. Not this year. It is a little a bummer, though. A bummer. Next year we were gonna. F we were actually gonna fill the stadium with rats, but. <laughs> oh man, that would have yeah. been so funny. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Listen, it's pretty. Uh, giant, no, it's not that funny, actually. Giant. <laughs> Yeah. Listen, man. This is my last year. Yeah. This is my last year at Wilmore. I'm and not gonna. I'm not gonna let them rise. take your big game away from you. Please, Giant. You gotta no. <coughs> get your head in the game. And he passes out. <laughs> no. Into the J Crew. Jason. I cry a little bit. I look up at the sky in tears. We're gonna soar. <laughs> beautiful uh yeah so that's that's what you learn from that <laughs> absolutely um, nothing except okay. for that they didn't cause it yeah Could yeah I, I i would say i would say as they walk away as well uh you see one of them gerald uh kind of <laughs> looks down to himself <laughs> dang i wish Bee were at least here as they walk out mm -hmm. like the okay. red or the, the i have my card. question yep what's up <laughs> Since I used the power tag for uh, for like knowing common myths, I want to know the myth associated with these rats. Cool, 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 cool. I like that. Um, all right. <laughs> As you try to recall any information you've read about something like this, uh, about rats going feral, you, you rake your brain for some kind of story or um anything you've heard about i don't know rat rat waves these hordes of rats and there's really nothing but when it comes to why the rats would be doing this you do actually recall the story of the pied piper huh that, that explains some music. what about the plague you know like the black plague and that one story that you, you talked also about. also recall the story of the Black Plague. <laughs> is, it, is it associated? The Black Plague? Yeah, no, that was just that was just Aster trying Maybe, to help you think yeah, of something. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, these are the these are these are the stories you you recall with it. Uh, but you definitely remember, you know, something about that about that myth. What do you mean the Pied Piper? No, it's not the Black Plague. It's it's. Pied Piper you... would like, would like, what did the Pied Piper do? He's a fantasy guy. He played the flute and all the f rats flocked to him and he like controlled the rats or some shit into a village. It's a long story. I don't remember it. You do though. Your character does. <clears throat> I, I do. I do. I have to know it in character. So, <laughs> no, it's, it's a story. It's, um, you know, do you know the Pied Piper at all? You read that one? What, did he r run around with pies? No, no, no. He played a <laughs> flute and, and. And the rats did... So I can't remember entirely. I read it ages ago. It, it's got to be something with that. It's got to be someone controlling the rats to make them come down during the game, during the halftime show. You and they wanted to make it? a show of it, obviously. So, I mean, the only question we really have is is why? Who would have a motive to, to mess up the game? Hey, guys, I'm back. Oh, uh, Jake. Oh, great, Giant. Maybe you can help good. us. Yeah, oh. what's up, man? What a shame. We what have a, a piper on our hands. 
A piper? And not like that a would, Maybe that explains the music I heard in my head earlier before I said that huge speech. <laughs> the mute? The mute? You didn't say that before? You are... You are a what? liability. You are absolutely team. a liability. <laughs> I just, you know, I just figured we're in a stadium. Maybe it was like they were playing some strange music, you know? I okay, mean, I'm going to make a soft <laughs> move here. Yeah. Um, you guys see now, uh, towards the entrance to the stadium, people in these white sort of suits, uh, I, I guess. Um, they're not really suits as much as they are, you know, more industrial with overalls and stuff carrying uh what looks like stuff to fumigate the place oh shit oh god so i can't if let you do want that. to investigate or do something or stop this or whatever now is your chance uh what a soft move does just to explain to you guys is that if this isn't acted on it will happen uh and you will lose this opportunity uh, uh excuse me you have the wrong place yeah the rats were nobody here. called nobody called for it this isn't the this isn't the will will rise wild rats. Who called call. you? Who called you? Because I know I know my father didn't. It. My father's a professor here. I can take you to him. We didn't have any kind of uh, no, altercations was, Yo, with rats. No, Gary. Good to see you again, man. I, I killed Gary. Gary. I killed Gary. <laughs> <laughs> I made Gary disintegrate. No, wait, 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 wait. I want Gary to be naked. I want to make Gary naked. You I'm sorry. Make... Good to see you again. Yeah. Wait, I don't know. Yeah. He what's just, up with that? He just. He just runs around looking for looking for rats, uh, and he just call he calls us in when he finds them. I mean, he hey he keeps us paid. Parents got a lot of money. Hey hey hey, kid, wait, but there's no got a lot the of only rats. rats around here are the wild rats. Will rise, wild rats, wild rats oh, will rise. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. Yeah. Sure, sure looks like it. And he takes his fucking vacuum cleaner, just sucks in a rat. <laughs> hey 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 oh, hey. hey, hey. <laughs> I was gonna say I don't see any rats here, but I guess he saw some rats. Is there still rats around? I mean, yeah, they're like hiding under shit uh. and just like crawling around eating all of the food that remains. <laughs> listen, 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 man. You don't need to fumigate this place, you know? We still need to use it. Don't and you need rats, permission from like... the actual school? I don't believe Gary has any authority here. Good point. He's on the other team. <laughs> we, we He's already, not even from our school. We already spoke with the the dean and we've Doubt got it. all the, all the What's permission What's the dean's name? Need. I know every professor here. And every single member of the PTA. <laughs> uh, the dean's name you would know is Susan Hunt. We spoke with Susan, very nice lady. Now, please, kids, <clears throat> could you get out of our way? Kids? Kids? What the? Heck? I'm a college student. Can you man. just give? Uh, can you just give me one second? I'm going to call Susan. Don't start fumigating. I mean, we're gonna start fumigating here. You're just gonna. <laughs> we already spoke with Susan. <laughs> I want to. I want to like uh, look down. You're gonna. In my so book. so I asked her though. You you are trying effect, uh, effectively to threaten them, right? Yeah. With with, a, with Karen stance. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Go go ahead and roll. Go ahead and roll. Convince plus whatever hey, this hey, is. Connor, could you like fuck up their tools or something? Yeah, like, I'm I don't trying. Know. I'm working on it. Uh, so I'm in here and I'm just flipping through the pages and I want to um Karen. <laughs> Karen's one actually does. I'm gonna call I'm gonna call call the dean. I just want to decay <laughs> your manager. Like, the some of the like insides of, of this these like machines. Not the outside, so they wouldn't like notice directly. But they wouldn't be able to fumigate, is what I want to do. Okay, so you are you are trying to like, like decay the wires des inside, destroy the machines from within. Yeah, would not destroy the outside and make it like I don't want them to see that I'm doing it. I just look like I'm reading a book. Yeah, go ahead, and this would be change the game to destroy these. All right, I want to change the game, and I want to what are you use. I'm, uh, I mean, I'm gonna use the death magic. Obviously, gotta have that. Um. Uh, this is not, um, I don't got shit else. Let's go. Nine. Okay. On a nine, you get, uh, one juice that you can basically use to, yep, burn the story tag. So what do you, how do you what, describe it? What do you do? So I kind of just step away from uh, from Ryan after he says that, and I like almost like I'm walking away, but I just open up this book and I read a page off, and, and 
like smoke starts to come out of the uh, out of the machines, but but nothing that's too too noticeable. Then I'll close up the book and kind of sit down on the bleachers to the yeah. side and, and keep quiet to myself and okay. keep looking like I'm. L listen, listen, lady, you can know all the deans in the world, but we I got some rats. We got some rats to suck, and he goes to try and suck it, and there's just like a <coughs> coughing of of dust. Uh, out of it as the other rat that he previously sucked in gets shot out of the vacuum and just starts <laughs> running around. I oh, applied that's, uh, that's charming and, and alpha over animals onto my rolls of 11. I don't know if that helps. Alpha on top over of animals his. does not apply. They are people uh, that literally <laughs> you said are animals or people. And the, and, well, the, and no, the, the J before. crew, the J are, crew animals. are animals. The J crew are animals. Oh, okay. Well, and that's why. A ten. <laughs> yeah, on a 10. Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, this works anyway, because, uh, you know, um, mm -hmm. your friend here had already kind of destroyed their equipment. What, what what do you do here? What do you say to them to make them go away? Oh, it looks like your equipment is broken. How about we we, we table this this um, uh, extermination and, and rat problem until... Uh, until we get I uh, get more clearance or, or figure it out more because this is this just barely happened and, and people are still uh, Panicked and if you start fumigating and we have to k escort everyone out of the school. It's just going to cause even more chaos All right, yeah, he, he, he's you can tell that he's like while you're talking with him He's struggling as well to try and like, uh, you know, use, use the equipment or even start it. He's like mm, dang, dang. Okay, okay, we'll we're we're gonna head back to the truck, see if we can get some of our some of our backup gear. Uh, I I guess if you really want a permit, we can get one of those as well. Come on, Jerry. We want one from the mayor. Yeah. This is a this is a public school. Damn it. <laughs> Why do you have so many rats in your school, dude? Hey. All the wild rats, man. <laughs> it's part Why of the Why do brand. you just keep this is messed up? This is well, a this branding. is a health and I'm gonna get the health and safety hey, board on this. Only a little bit feral, and he puts his finger down to one of the rats' nipples. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> okay, you guys have dealt with the with the fumigation guys for now as they leave. Okay, well that bought us some time. Ryan, uh, get yeah. Gary. Gary, <laughs> I charge him. <laughs> no, no, the game's over. The game's over. Please, tackle. <laughs> oh, I don't think she. Okay. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> yeah, I got him. Ryan, let me go. Ah, fuck the you, game's Gary. over. My father will hear about this. Yeah, your father won't hear shit. What's My he gonna father do about hears it? everything. Yeah, he's the, of he's the he... police chief. You are you are getting away with this. Gary, why are you still sticking around? Yeah, you should get Everybody out of here, man. Everybody left but you, literally. It looks incredibly <laughs> suspicious. <laughs> and you called the... You called animal control on us, dude. That's demeaning. You guys are gross, and you have rats everywhere. <laughs> are of course you I called animal control. Are you no, scared not, that you were going to lose? I'm not, going I'm to not lose scared floorball? I'm going to lose. Give me the ball, Ryan. Give me the ball. Then why would yeah. you try and get the game canceled? Give me the give ball. The ball. I want to try I, I and get the, the ball. game canceled. It's in my, it's in my he my says as he, as he shoots another fucking hoop. <laughs> <laughs> I want to block yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to say you can do that without a roll. Blocking shot. Oh. I, was, I was gonna, I was gonna do the thing, you know, the Spider-Man thing where, like, in the basketball, where they're trying to grab the ball. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the yeah. ball, the ball falls back down, uh, and you, oh, can, man. you do that to him. Yeah. yeah. Give me the, give yeah, me the ball, on, man. Ryan. Grab the ball. <laughs> grab the ball. Stop! Stop! Stop messing with him, Gary. What? You, what happened from your perspective? What did you see? And what saw are the, you still saw doing the here? Saw the Griffins win. Oh, Scrah! Nobody won shit. You'll see. I don't know. Scoreboard says differently. Game's half yeah. over, Gary. Game's ca go game's canceled for now, but we'll 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 get you again in the second half. Oh, I no mean, matter how long it takes, wild rats. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Uh. Gary actually starts walking away at this point. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Grab him on the shoulder. <laughs> 
My dad's gonna hear about that too. You still haven't answered what you're still doing here. Yeah, what are you doing? This and what why are you, you stuck around? In? Just wanted to get one last dunk in and also call animal control because this place is overrun by rats. Incre I'm not gonna play in these conditions. I certainly couldn't. Blech. How is that your job at all? I'm Gary. <laughs> stuck up little bitches. What does you that are. mean? Okay, all right. Goodbye, Gary. I hate this guy. Gary Gilmore, the Gilmore Griffins. Scry you later. And he makes this. I'm gonna finger, kick his ass. I'm gonna. Gary I'm gonna Gilmore kick his ass. Of the Gilmore Griffins. I have never Is met like... someone who acted more like a virgin in my life. <laughs> God, do I, does he still have the two the two layers of the the two status effects beep, 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 beep. of asphyxiation? Hello, woman. <laughs> yes, I'm calling for <laughs> sex. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hate Gary. <laughs> I hate him. I hate him. I don't even believe that that phone works. Be there, be there in a sec, babe. Scraw. Yeah, and as he puts the phone down, you see that it is dead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I mean, maybe Gary. Listen, guys, rest, but, but that that wouldn't make any sense. They were winning. No, no, that wouldn't make any sense. Listen, I'm telling you, something's up with Bee Wee. Why wasn't he in the cage? Why was the bigger Bee Wee like up in the, up in the rafters, crawling I, around like a feral rat? I don't know. Why? Why were you controlled? It, it's got to be. There's some person oh. pulling the strings for some reason, and it doesn't make sense for them to because they were winning. Ryan, do you have something you need to tell us? What do you mean? Because you're awfully close to this whole thing. Uh, yeah, I mean, wild rats. Not that I don't rice. trust you, but this kind of seems like a stupid Ryan thing you would do. You think I would, I don't you know, think I is... would infest my, my own stadium with wild rats? Yes. And then look up and see my mascot who was glowing yes. green for some reason, which I don't think we've really addressed yet. That's really fucking strange, right? Like... And and then look down and then save your father from impending doom and get bitten all over. It stings. My entire body stings, Aster. Okay, Aster. <laughs> and now you're do. throwing the blame on me, well, Giant I think Ryan. Ryan. Well, I think Ryan de Giant definitely would do this. I don't think he could do this. That's a fair point. I'm sorry. What? How oh, would I Ryan. even control these rats? I'm just like. I'm just, just like really strong and shit. <laughs> <sighs> oh, okay, we find the mascot. We find yeah. we we find who did it. Shouldn't we have been doing that from the start? Then you failed like to, to mention that he was glowing green. I mentioned that like three times. Actually, uh, thank you. Okay, sorry. I tune out sometimes when you speak, Giant. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'd, like, well, to, lead I'd like to take a look at where he actually exited and see if there's any like signs of the mascot having I mean the mascot like was in the fucking rafters uh so yeah I can yeah. jump up there yeah all right you are gonna yeah. jump up to the rafters I guess with the trampoline um yeah yeah that's fun you fucking sure you do that yeah you so you're I'd strong like to you bounce around. really hard uh, yeah, as you land up there, go ahead and, uh, go ahead and, and, and roll that. Okay. Now. Mm, you know what? Actually, um, I'm going to say you're going to need to look for something different than what Connor looked for, because he essentially made this exact same roll. Oh, did he? Yeah. So if you have somewhere else you want to look or someone else you want to ask or something else you want to try and deduce here. Um, okay, well, I already made my roll, so I'm going to take a look. Um, So where did... The, he looked where the rats went, right? Not where Bee-Wee went, right? Or is that... Oh, Connor, so I'm looking you, for where... You, what did you look for? Connor? Uh, what did I look for? I was looking yeah. for where, like, where the rats came in and if it would give me any indication. Okay, yeah. Then, oh. I, w then I will say you could probably look to see where uh, the Bee-Wee mascot guy yeah i i want to look for where he exited and see around if there's any traces of him type deal okay sure yeah. uh what'd you get uh i rolled an 11 naturally oh um, nice what's the I what's would... the power on that what'd you add well let's see here the only thing i think i can add is good memory maybe but i think you can I... add that yeah i think you can add. yeah that. i know the stadium like the back of my hand okay and 
cool. So yeah, so just the one, I guess. Just the one. All right. So then I'm yeah. gonna say, uh, yep. You get one clue. Okay. To use, and what do you want? Uh, let's see here. Um, I don't know. Is there any like footsteps? Like, is the footprints around? You know, any any sign of somebody running around, crawling around up there? Maybe maybe there's dust in a in a line okay. just conveniently okay. leaving. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, go this is a line of big rat shit <laughs> leading out into a vent. Um, guys, there's rat yeah. shit up here. <laughs> here is here is what you see. Here is what you see. Um, or even if I hear like the subtle hummings of music <laughs> from a pipe. Uh, you you don't hear that now. Okay. Um, but what you do find with that one clue, um, you find. Uh, as you're sort of sniffing along this ground like Scooby-Doo, you find a little patch. Ah. Like a little, like a red uh, patch that's like, should be sewn onto something. Okay. I pick it up. Mm -hmm. Oh, is there anything like special about it? Just like a patch or like anything on it? It's a fraternity patch. A fraternity patch. Mm -hmm. I recognize mm -hmm. this. Alpha, beta, gamma. No, no, no. It's <laughs> sigma, alpha, theta, alpha, nu. Oh shit, I got that wrong really bad. Yeah, you got that really wrong. Good thing your character is illiterate, so it's fine. Um, what was you it? as Ryan would also recognize that you do know a couple people from the J crew that belong to this crap. Okay. So you said what was it? Sigma Sigma Safan. Alpha Theta Alpha Nu. So Theta. uh Yeah. I'll, okay. I'll type it I'll type it on the chat. Safan, yeah, sure. No 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 no. Not Theta, Theta. With a T. Theta. Oh. <laughs> Satan. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> and as um, <laughs> as you thumb over as you thumb over this patch, and you uh, say to yourself, Satan. <laughs> hey, whoa! It's me again, Charlie. Welcome to the end of the show. Where again, if you are a high roller on our Patreon, I'm gonna go ahead and shout you out right now. Talonclaw, thank you so much for your support. The big motherfucking cheese. What's going on, man? It was an absolute blast. Uh, we did our last sort of Patreon session with this guy. Fucking hilarious, and it was a lot of fun. Another Sophie. Oh my goodness, they just keep popping up. Deviinator, always good to see you. But now let's deviate and talk about our next patron. Indy Mindy 9 She has her dark secrets, and I have mine. J-R-W-Y Enjoyer. I also love the Disney show. Just roll with it. J Newell, I'm glad you came back and did a renewal. Ah. Jumpiest Venus 34. I could have a pun for you, but I didn't plan it. Riker Kurodu, let me know when I eventually get that pronunciation right because I feel like I accidentally change it every episode. The Godly King. Thank you for lending us peasants your coin for the show. Curious cosplayer. Have you done a minion yet? Let's get this broad. Thank you for your contribution. And last but not least, salutation. Who I bid? Salutations. Thanks for listening to this episode and um, sorry about all the rats.